Hello everyone, this is Reckless Wit with a review for Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes for the Nintendo Switch. Travis is back in Travis Strikes Again, the next installment in Suda 51's No More Heroes series. Like its predecessors, this game features simple controls and fast-paced actions. The art style used in the game is completely unique yet familiar, and the fourth wall breaking and self-awareness are entirely entertaining. The gameplay of Travis Strikes Again is not just influenced by indie games, but the entire indie scene from beginning to end. Levels, collectibles, gameplay, and even dialogue are inspired by this genre. In my opinion, the game controls best with the Joy-Cons, if you want to get close to original No More Heroes controls as possible. Though Pro Controller feels a little clunky, especially when trying to recharge your Beam Saber, so I and myself would not recommend it. As of now, there is no way to customize button layout. The gameplay elements that are customizable are difficulty, background, music volume, sound effects volume, voice volume, and brightness. On the subject of enemies, they are easily identifiable, the placement of checkpoints around them is generally fair, and the boss fights are pretty enjoyable. Haven't really had a lot of issues dealing with any of them, and most, if not all, my deaths have just been my own fault. During levels, you will be able to find a variety of items, ranging from archive files to t-shirts. Leveling up is a simple process, but all experience points gained are shared between both players, so if you're playing one player, then you have to diversify your points between Travis and Badman. But if you're playing two player, both players will gain experience and both can divert their points just to their own player. On the main menu screen, you'll be able to level up your character, attach skills to your character, select player character, configure multiplier co-op, check gameplay stats, configure settings, and return to your hub world. The game is fun and challenging in single and multiplayer, and the story fits right in with the world of No More Heroes. Although some parts of the game seem to drag on longer than they should sometimes, it does feel part for the course with it being a Suda51 game. Travis Strikes Again is weird, funny, sometimes inspiring, and never apologetic. It wears its heart on its sleeve, and anything less would have resulted in a lesser game in my opinion. So in closing, Travis Strikes Again is a No More Heroes game, through and through. It might not be the same gameplay, but everything else about it just feels right. I do feel trying to adapt to different gameplay styles does mean the game isn't particularly strong in one area, but I don't think that ruins it. It's well-rounded enough that the game doesn't suffer. The game's fairly priced, in my opinion, even with the season pass added on. If you fancy yourself a fan of Suda51, then this game is a no-brainer. And if you're not, this is the perfect time. The game is fun, the game is cheap, and the game can be experienced with another person, so you don't have to go through this whole journey alone. So that's my review for Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes. Thank you for watching and listening to this video, and I hope you have a great day.